this video, Constantine Kissing says something very important that I think if more people acknowledge this, then a fewer people will have the victim's mindset or victim's mentality. But let's check it out. We have this conversation about whether slavery should be taught in schools and so on. And my answer to that is yes. The problem is we don't teach about slavery in schools. What we teach about is the transatlantic slave trade. Mm -hmm. And um, this way of looking at the world is, is quite Just silly to me. It, it, it's sort of like evaluating whether a sprinter is fast or slow without comparing them to anybody else. Right. You can't do it. Uh, you have to understand what was happening Everything. everywhere else at the same time. And I talk about my own family history of being slaves in Russia. I talk about what was happening in my country, what was happening in Africa when the evil Western colonialists arrived. And by the way, the transatlantic slave trade was absolutely evil by the standards mm -hmm. of the modern day. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't as bad as the, uh, the trans-Saharan slave trade, which was conducted mainly by Muslim and Arab traders. Um, didn't last as long, didn't take as many lives, didn't have such a high death rate. Uh, and slavery was continued continually practiced around the world much later and only ended, by the way, thanks to the Western colonial powers putting a lot of effort and a lot of money into it. You know, people keep saying slavery has ended. There are countries that still low-key practice slavery till today. Does that excuse the transatlantic slave trade? Of course not. But it gives you the context to understand that the Western powers are and remain some of the most progressive, tolerant societies that have ever been created and our crimes which are many mm -hmm. there is no doubt <laughs> they are many should be right. seen in the context of that in the context of the fact that other great civilizations and empires around the world were doing the exact same things and worse at the same time and we ended it we stopped it the british empire <laughs> was Okay, so that's the video. Basically, Thomas Sowell said the same thing. I keep bringing up his name. He's spoken about all of this already. Um, apparently, people don't agree with whatever he says. Some people don't agree because they think he's uh, he's big on propaganda. But I think this is true because if you speak in context, maybe people won't feel victimized and always feel entitled. I always say this to like people I know, people around me to avoid victims mentality. I mean, slavery was a bad thing. There's no reason why anybody should sell anybody. But if you put it in context, maybe you might understand, or maybe it might be understood more, especially if you teach it to children, younger people. So when they grow up, they don't grow up with victims mentality. They grow up understanding the entire context and the entire story. So yeah, I think that was valuable information. Let me know what you think. And um, if you want us to check out another video by Constantine Kissing, let me know. And also talk to me about your ideas on slavery. If you think it should be taught in schools or not, feel free to let me know. That being said, is the end of this one. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Have a wonderful day. Peace.